Wow, pretty amazing technology. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome that he was saved from the accident, but at the same time, as you mentioned, that's also kind of scary. <laughs> scary. I'll change my own lane, thank you. I yeah. don't want a car to have to do that. Yeah. I like the slow down feature, though. Yeah. In case you're spaced. Either way, I don't know. It's still, it's still weird. But no, slow down. I don't have a Tesla, so I don't have to worry about it. But you have slow down, slow down the weather department. Slow down the weather, it's going to get cold. It's running around yesterday. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Here's a great shot from our Lincoln City Beach, Oregon Beach vacations camera. I got a nice time lapse today. Sun clouds, sun clouds. A few showers passing by as the day went along. Typical November weather. And look at this, guys. We've got a little bit of snow up there at Mount Hood Meadows, about 5,400 feet of elevation. First dusting we've seen up there since last winter, so maybe a sign of things to come. Outside right now, it's 6 o'clock hour at PDX. 55 degrees, a light southwest wind after a high temperature day of 63 degrees. Take a look at rainfall amounts up and down the I-5 corridor. Just a few one hundredths of an inch, a lot less than we saw yesterday. A little bit more up to three quarters of an inch out there in Tillamook along the coastline. And we'll see showers continue overnight tonight. Here's our satellite and radar loop as your 6 o'clock hour. The showers continue to push into the metro area and up into the Cascades as we widen out the view. You see we've got more showers yet to come. It wouldn't surprise me if overnight tonight and into tomorrow we even get a rumble of thunder and a bolt of lightning perhaps with some of these showers coming through. So this week coming up, we're going to see showers continuing on your Monday. If you're looking for a dry day to get outside and do some things, maybe rake up some leaves, that's midweek. Tuesday and Wednesday look like our best days of the week. And then showers increase by next weekend with another disturbance coming in again. Typical November weather. Evening planner, if you're going out on the town tonight, 7 o'clock, 54 degrees, we'll keep showers around. You will not see sun at 9 p.m., I guarantee that, but just a few showers around, and the showers continue right back here on Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock, cooling down into the lower 50s. Rain and cloud forecast, here we are tonight, 6 o'clock right now. Just a few scattered showers moving through the area. If you've been out, you've seen those around. We'll drop it uh, down to 8.30 on Monday morning. We'll stop it right there. You see our commute time, mostly cloudy skies, just a few scattered showers around. Move it ahead into your commute time Monday evening, 5.30. Scattered showers up and down the I-5 corridor continuing. And then here on Monday, just cloudy skies. We start to dry it out, as you'll see coming up in my seven-day forecast. Quick look at the coastal forecast on Monday. Showers continuing. A cool day out there on the coast. Temperatures mostly in the mid-50s. I-5 corridor on your Monday. Scattered showers continue. Temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 50s for daytime highs. Central and east side on your Monday. Scattered showers and sun breaks. A light west wind. Madras 53. Ben just 47 for a high tomorrow. Cascades in the gorge. Showers west and scattered showers on the east side. Government camp just 47. There's that snowfall level. 4,500 feet. So snow down to passes and a little bit below that. Monday showers likely 56. We'll go showers ending on Tuesday mid 50s. Then fog to sun on Wednesday, best day to get outside, get some stuff done in the yard. Just a risk of a shower on Thursday, partly sunny Friday, and then just a chance of showers on Saturday and Sunday. All right, and Wednesday is the day where we'll get a little bit more sun. Yeah, that'll be about it, and then it's back to regular November weather. All right, <laughs> I like it. All right, well, the weather, great for the Timbers. Playoff again.